This video is going to review how to simplify radicals. In this video, we're only going to take a look at square roots without variables. If you want to learn how to simplify square roots with variables or cube roots or cube roots with variables, please take a look at the additional videos that are available. So, first example, I have the square root of 27. The first thing I want to do is I want to remember my perfect squares. So I always think it's helpful to write them out. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and I'm going to keep going. 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and it continues. So I want to break my 27 into two pieces. I know that I can't take the square root of 27, so I need to break it down. On the left, I'm going to find a perfect square, and on the right, I'm going to find a non-perfect square. And I'm going to set up two radicals. So I want to check those values that I just listed out above, my perfect squares, and see what divides into 27. It's going to be 9. And 9 times what gives me 27? 9 times 3. So I put the 9 on the left side because it's a perfect square, and I put the 3 on the right side because it's not a perfect square. So at this point, I want to simplify that perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. On the right, I have a non-perfect radical, so I have to keep it. It cannot be changed. So I have 3, radical 3. Let's take a look at example 2 on the right. 4, radical 24. So same thing, except here I have a 4 on the outside. So I'm going to do the same thing. I need a perfect, and I need a non-perfect. So I'm looking at that list above, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on. Which of those divides in evenly to 24? We're going to get 4, and it's 4 times 6. So 4 is the perfect square. It goes in the radical on the left. 6 is the non-perfect square. It goes on the right. So the square root of 4 is 2. And my non-perfect square comes down, but I still have this 4 on the outside, so I'm going to bring that down as well. And now my last step is to do 4 times 2, which gives me 8. So we have 8 radical 6. And that's how you simplify radicals. Let's take a look at one more example. The square root of 75. So once again, I need a perfect and I need a non-perfect. Remember back to those list of perfect squares. If you need to, write them out again. This time, I'm going to be using 25 as my perfect square, and it's 25 times 3 that gives me 75. The square root of 25 is, three, uh, is 5. My 3 is my non-perfect. I can't square root it, so I'm going to keep it. So radical 75 is the same thing as 5 radical 3.